Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wheel of Punishment. Uh, I mean, the Wheel of Cursed Meals. Meet contestant number one. Weighing in at 85 pounds, this trailer park prince of the Midwest loves bananas and hanging out with his noobs, Simeon Jimmy! <laughs> and his opponent, contestant number two, weighing in at over 9,000 grams, the widest Mexican this side of the Mississippi, Biggs Bigsington. The Wheel of Cursed Meals is the ultimate food torture challenge, other than eating anything cooked by Biggs's mom. Each contestant will spin the wheel five times, and for each meal they finish, they'll earn one point. The player with the most points at the end of five rounds will be declared the first ever Wheel of Cursed Meals champion. If a contestant refuses a meal or fails to complete it, his opponent will have the opportunity to steal their meal and earn their point. Players are allowed to vomit, but only after they've completed each meal. If they vomit before finishing their meal, they lose the round and the point. And now, without further ado, let's get to spinning. This cursed wheel. Well, old buddy, old pal, let's see what we have on the wheel today. Oh boy. We're starting off with cat food. As you may recall, Biggs, in our short film, Out in the Woods, had to eat a whole can of cat food, and now he potentially gets to do it again or get revenge on me. Can't wait. <laughs> Five shots. Basically, uh, I think we chose gin for this one. We're gonna do five shots of it all. I think all at once is what we chose, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. I can't. I, I love getting drunk at 1 p.m. <laughs> vanilla, but not just any vanilla. Vanilla extract. You thought five shots of booze was good? Just wait till you get one full shot of vanilla extract. <laughs> Something that in major recipes you should only include maybe one like, drop of. Yeah, like one to two drops. <laughs> Worm omelet. So, I think we decide one egg, just so it's not One a egg food. and 40 mealworms. Yeah, and uh, yeah, since I'm a chef, you know, I own my own restaurant, like uh, we've said. I'm gonna cook up a good one. Well, maybe not a good one, but a good one. Hot chocolate, you know. Oh it, man, I love hot chocolate. In, in these cold winter months, you need just a refreshing hot chocolate to warm you up. Unfortunately, this isn't just any hot chocolate. Uh oh. It is the hottest, spiciest bar of chocolate ever made, with the Scoville level so high, I don't even know if a man can count to that number. <laughs> Tarantula. Uh, this is probably the only one that's gonna make me lose uh, if I land on it. <laughs> it's a. Uh, you have arachnophobia, Biggs? Uh, a little bit. You're racist against spiders? Yes, I am. Oh, um, it's good. basically a cooked and salted tarantula. Oysters, you know, some of these are gonna be easier than others. Personally, I really like oysters. <laughs> and you didn't tell me this when we were going through the process of picking. I knew that Biggs hated oysters. <laughs> what? So I made sure to put it on the wheel. Oh, so if no. I land on it, it's a win for me. If he lands on it, it's a win for me. To be fair, it's a whole can that you have to eat, so. Delicious. <laughs> I can't wait. Blazing challenge. Another blast from your past, Biggs. Yeah. Come on. We must embrace pain and burn it as fuel for our journey. This water is really refreshing. Oh yeah, I forgot to take a drink. Take a second and choke it down, dude. Take a second, come on. Oh, no. I think we'll call that done. The blazing challenge is the spiciest sauce at Buffalo Wild Wings. And uh, we've got five of uh, five wings coated in it. And that Biggs gets to eat. The Wings of Redemption Challenge! For those of you who don't know, there is a Twitch streamer that Biggs and I are really Biggs fans of, named Wings of Redemption, who was famous for his amazing palate. Look here! Look here! Look! Listen! Appearing offline does not fucking stop it, so stop giving fucking advice you know nothing about. 
His favorite foods include Pepsi. My sugar's low. I, somebody drank all my Pepsis. I gotta drink diet fucking Pepsi. And I don't want to play Call of Duty and my feet hurt. Frozen banquet meals. But then he started eating uh, his banquet meal and, and, and that perked us right back up. And Wendy's chili. I bought myself. Look. Oh shit. So if somebody lands on the Wings of Redemption challenge, all three of those things will be blended together and uh, uh, the champion who gets to eat it will en enjoy all of Wings' favorite foods oh boy. at it's the same time. The best part is we're using a Nutribullet, so it's going to be very well blended. Oh, good. I can't <laughs> wait. It's going to be delicious. Real talk. Real talk. Skittle cereal. Um, this is one that uh, Monkey came up with kind of on the fly. He's just like, I was eating Skittles, and he's like, you know what would be funny? If we uh, put that in a bowl and filled it with Pepsi and oh, made cereal. We have both of our Pepsi options right next to each other. Oh, boy. Cigarette. I was looking around my house thinking, what else can we put on this wheel? And I found the carton of cigarettes that we used in the Monkey Jones Stops the School Shooting short film. And I realized, wouldn't it be amazing if Biggs had to eat a cigarette? <laughs> so if he you lands keep, on this, he has to eat a cigarette. You keep forgetting that you're also playing this, so... I, I'm gonna land on oysters, I'm gonna land on... Uh, Blazing Challenge, because yeah. he likes spicy stuff. I'm gonna land on all the good stuff. No, he's not. So the pick three blender is one of the special spots on the wheel where if somebody lands on it, his opponent gets to choose three items that have not yet been landed on and blend them all together for his opponent to eat. Because this one is especially difficult because it's essentially a three in one, it is worth two points. So as horrible as it may be to land on pick three blender, if you want to win the game, you kind of have to hope you land on it. Yeah. Sounds like a living nightmare. Wasabi. Oh boy. Another spicy thing that I'm not going to be able to eat. <laughs> uh, so we... How much wasabi does the consumer have to eat? I'm not sure, but... Just a you're... big old glop? What you're supposed to eat is like a little pea-sized amount. <laughs> so probably like a teaspoon. <laughs> Maybe even more. Oh, the whole thing? Maybe oh. a soup spoon. <laughs> well... Raw pasta. Hey, you guys like eating pasta? What if you just forgot to cook the noodles? It's that easy. Domino's. So uh, this one, if you land on it, the other person has to order a specialty pizza just for you from Domino's. And I think we decided on like maybe half a small. Yeah, half a small. As you know, Domino's, when you customize your pizza online, you can do whatever you want. You don't have to add sauce. You don't have to add cheese. You could just get dough with a bunch of sausage thrown on top. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we got to get creative and custom order a pizza for for your dear friend. It'll be it'll be delicious. You'll probably get me a, a, a yummy sausage and mozzarella uh, pizza. If, if I get you, I know you hate pepperoni. No. So. <laughs> no. There's going to be a lot of pepperoni. Oh. And finally, eat a whole lemon. Um, my dear friend Rusty Cage, who stole my background music, once made a video where he just ate a whole lemon and I thought, well, we're better than Rusty Cage, we could do better than that. How about eating a whole lemon will be 1 16th <laughs> of the video I'm making, just to prove I'm 16 times better than that music stealing coward! Ah! Now you're probably wondering, what is at stake here? It can't just be bragging rights. Is there a steak on here? It can't, it can't be something stupid like a fake monetary prize like the Wheel of Punishment. So we have come up with horrible punishments for the loser. We both know what the other person hates more than anything, and the winner gets to torture the loser. If I win, Biggs has to purchase tickets for both he and I to go see the new hit musical film, Cats. A film that Biggs has said he would literally rather die I than, would. than go see. Plus he gets to buy me a large popcorn and soda. I'm really looking forward to us going on our Cats date tonight. Oh, we're not going on that because tonight, for his punishment, we're watching S. Darko. 
Well, actually, we're starting with Donnie Darko, but then right after we're watching S. Darko. What is S. Darko? Um, S. Darko is the sequel that they, for some reason, felt the need to make to Donnie Darko. And it has a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, it's set like seven years after, and like I got through 30 minutes and I quit <laughs> on my first viewing of this movie. I couldn't watch it. So I was like, what better punishment? And Biggs and I decided that ties are stupid, so there will be no tiebreaker. If at the end of the game we both have the same number of points, we both have to do both torturous punishments. So we might be watching three movies tonight, my friend. Oh, no. Should we just get on with it? Yeah. Five yeah. rounds, we each get five spins on the wheel. Whoever has the most points at the end is the winner. I hope we don't tie. Oh. I, literally, I would rather lose than tie. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't rather lose than tie, because uh, either way, I'm watching Cats. Round one, buddy! Oh, no. Oh. Skittle cereal? Hey, that's going to be a, a hearty breakfast for you. Oh. Start off the day. We haven't even eaten today. It's like <laughs> almost 2 p.m. I hope you're ready for a sugar rush. Oh. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Monkey's Sugar Kitchen. Today, we're preparing Biggs a delicious Skittle cereal. You start off with a... It, people ask, do you put the cereal in first or the milk? My answer is, you put the Skittles in first and then the Pepsi. <laughs> Let's hook my brother up. Nice and fizzly. That's the flavor molecules reacting to the delicious sugary sensation of the Pepsi. Biggs, I hope you're ready because it's bon appetit time, my friend. Oh no. <laughs> look at look at that. That is, is awful. It just fizzling? It's taking the outer candy off of the Skittles. <laughs> well, you gotta drink the milk, so get to it. It's making it really hard. <laughs> it's really hard. It's not bad, it's like eating rocks. Oh no. Wait, it's not bad, it's like eating rocks? That's, no, I mean, that doesn't make any sense. That's not bad, but it's like eating rocks because oh. they're so hard. Okay. This is gonna take me like 10 minutes to eat this. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Literally take one and take a bite. Oh my God, they are rock hard. <laughs> they are. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's so crunchy! Ow! Ew, you're gonna chip a tooth. <laughs> the ones that were in the bowl got harder as they sat there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just chewing pebbles at this point. Fruity pebbles, literally. <laughs> Alright, Biggs, oh. give yourself your first point. How did you like your breakfast cereal? Um, it wasn't bad. It was just way too hard to chew, and it took a long time. It was more of like a, a time challenge than a flavor <laughs> challenge. Let's see if I get myself a flavor challenge. Oh, I'm scared! There's so many ones I don't want to do. I don't want to eat a cigarette for sure. Oh, yes! Oh. It's cooking time with Biggs! So I tortured you by giving you way too many Skittles, and now you could, you're going to make me an, a worm omelet. <laughs> well, time to make monkey's worm omelet. We got the egg. <sighs> Obviously need that. Got some worms. Yeah. Ooh. What sucks is I really hate eggs. <laughs> <laughs> that's even better. The worms I can live with, but an omelet, that's gross. <laughs> I'll take the little wormies. Look at them wiggle! Oh my god, that's cruel! Oh, that sucks! Oh, I hope they can't feel. I hope those wormies died immediately, because that sucks. Oh... Uh, I, I can see the hair. God damn it, get that! Is the hair part of it? Yep, now uh, it is. Ew, it's your hair! That's worse than the worms! Oh, god! Bon Appetit? It, oh, I'm eating the hair right away. It's time to eat. Oh! Yeah, make, make gross sounds. How do they taste? Not good, dude. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, if it's good enough for my lizard, it's good enough for me. 
Knowing that that crunch was specifically that warm is what made me gag. <laughs> we technically we both had breakfast to start up. <laughs> you did. <laughs> now what? I just hate chewing the worms. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one's literally moving. Shut the fuck up! No, it's not. It, it moved. It hundred percent moved. I'm gonna move up your asshole with my dip. <clears throat> Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You got one more bite. Oh man, they are moving. They are 100% moving. Fuck you. I can't believe I ate your hair. Oh my god, there's another hair. <laughs> Look, there's another hair on there. You're a horrible chef. Almost there, you just gotta get it down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! 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 Freak! <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> That's what score cheats every day! Oh, I don't like the sensation of having this in my body. I've said that one before. <laughs> well, after my... Oh, God, there's... Ew, it's like in my gums. Oh! Ew! Ugh. After a wormtastic meal, I get a wormtastic point. Woo! Look, it even looks like yeah, that. Yeah, I made a wormy point. All right, Officer Biggs, we're tied up at the end of round one. Let's see what you'll be eating for round two. I'm really scared. Yeah, after, after that worm omni bag, I can't wait to make you something. Oh, man. Five shots! Already? Yeah, Biggs, you just ate breakfast, and now you're going to get fucking wasted. Unfortunately, we don't have any Everclear. This gin is the strongest alcohol I have, but it is 47.3%. So let's hook Biggs up with five shots. And shot number five. If you need a chaser, I can throw up my egg omelet and you can use that as your chaser. Oh yeah, that'd be great. Officer Biggs about to drink before going on duty to beat up some black people, I assume. Here we go, bottoms up. Shot, 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 Oh my god! Oh man! How do you do that? I can't do that. <coughs> Tastes good? That's something. <coughs> Oof. I, I, I hope it fucks with your stomach so much that you vomit up the rest of your challenges. Please. Oh! The Skittles and Pepsi are fizzing my stomach. <laughs> And this is hitting it like a nuke. Oh no. I feel my stomach going. <laughs> How about if you chug the rest of the bottle, I'll give you half a point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you alcoholic. Give yourself a second point. All right, let's see what you get. Uh, hopefully I'll get a shot of vanilla extract. Delicious. Oh. A cigarette. Oh yes. I'm having a bad day so far. You know, far. we both had breakfast, and now I got a drink because I'm an alcoholic, and now you get a smoke because you're. We have. We both have our vices, don't we? Yep. It's gonna be more dry than your mom's pussy. You know, Bigsy boy, when I was your age, we didn't get fancy foods like bread and potatoes. All I, my daddy gave us to eat was cigarettes, and you know what? We cherished them, because they was delicious. Bottoms up, my friend. <laughs> yes, throw up. <laughs> oh, God, don't throw up on me. <laughs> <laughs> you know you could just stop and uh <laughs> you could just give up the point. The tobacco, it's burning my throat. <laughs> and I did vomit in my mouth. As long as so I... the worms came back. <laughs> <laughs> as long as the vomit doesn't leave your body, you're good, right? Mm. <laughs> You're going to watch Cat. <laughs> no, I'm not. You're watching the historical. I swear, if you explode and throw up on me, I'm gonna be so. I mad. almost did three times. I know. I 
I did it. Oh my god. I did it. That counts. Mm mm mm. Toasty. Ah! Now I could throw up. <laughs> now, folks, I would show you the throw up, but we can't, so. Oh my god, it's all egg and worm. Come look at it, bitch. Let me show- No, I'm not looking at it, cause then I'll throw up. Don't smoke, kids. Look what could happen to you. Officer Biggs, why didn't you protect me? Sorry. I got a wormy point, now I gotta draw a cigarette point. There you go. <laughs> Two points. Alright, Biggs, welcome to round three. Where you look like you're really hurting right now. You look like you're having a tipsy fun time. I guess drinking is better for you than smoking. We learned that lesson the hard way today. Biggs, let's see what you're doing next. I hope you get vanilla shot. Oh. oh no. Hot chocolate! He, oh he, no! He just said between rounds that's one of the three he does not want to do. Oh. Let's take a gander at Biggs' delicious third meal. Oh no. So this is the world's hottest chocolate bar, Hellfire Infused Chocolate. There's a big warning on here that says, This 12-piece chocolate bar is extremely spicy and is not to be consumed by those sensitive to spicy foods, aka Biggs literally has a medical condition that says he should not eat spicy foods. <laughs> Uh, are anyone with any existing heart or respiratory conditions? The world's hottest chocolate bar has potential to cause skin and or mouth irritation and should be kept out of reach of children and pets. This product contains high amounts of pure chili extract and is to be handled with extreme caution. Consume at your own risk. I'm gonna die. I'm literally gonna die. Thankfully it's a very small piece, isn't it? What? What's it smell like? I want to smell it. You're gonna die. You don't have to do it. You can just lose the point, and I'll do it, and I'll take the point. I'll steal the point from you. It's fine. This will probably be the hottest thing you've ever eaten in your life. Are you sure you want to do it? It's just a stupid game. It's just the Cats movie, Biggs. It's no big deal. Cats movie. Cats movie. Uh-oh, now I motivated Cats him to eat movie. it. <laughs> no! No, Biggs, no! No! <coughs> oh my god! Oh, oh my god! The worst is yet to come! Eat it in the easy Do I win? Uh, yeah, I guess you win. Homie needs some chalky milk. Oh! How's the heat? Oh my god! Oh, no! <laughs> ah, it's just gonna burn coming back up! Ugh. Is your throat burning? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, we killed Biggs. <laughs> he really doesn't want to watch cats. Oh my god, you're completely red! <laughs> You went from Mexican to Indian! Give us a play-by-play -play of uh, the sensations you felt as you were eating. <clears throat> the air hurts my mouth. <sighs> On a pain level of like 1 to 10, where would you put it? 10. Oh my god! Oh no! So bad. It's been about 10 minutes and you're still writhing in pain. It's so bad. Do you want to give us a testimonial? I never do it. Never do it? It's it's worth watching Cats over. Really? Oh shit! You should have just watched Cats! Because if we tie, you have to watch Cats anyway! You could have just taken the L! Is this the worst pain you've ever felt? Uh, probably. Oh my god. Well, we're halfway through. You ready to see what I have to eat while you recover? Yes. 
Hey everybody! I hope you're enjoying our stupid video so far. Fun fact, this one video cost us over $300 to make. And it was only possible because of the good folks over at my Patreon. So, if you want to support the channel and give us a budget to keep doing stupid shit like this, head on over to patreon.com slash mumkey. And if you can't help us with money, you can help us with suggestions of what you would like to see on the next Wheel of Cursed Meals. So down in the comment section, give us your ideas for what we should eat next. We're halfway through, folks, so let's see who wins the Wheel of Cursed Meals. It's, it feels like somebody took a blowtorch and just burned everything inside my mouth. Your lips look like they're they're flaming, like red, like burning. Yes. <sighs> it feels like somebody's got fire on my mouth. Well, uh, you earned yourself a point, though. It was worth it for the point, right, buddy? All right. Let's see. Maybe I'll get something even worse. I might land on oysters. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to eat a Domino's pizza! Oh no! Uh-oh. Here we go! Hey, that was the worst one, so anything else can't be that bad. The Wings of Redemption Challenge! Hey, I get some Wendy's chili, I get some banquet meal, I get some Pepsi. Yep. That, I mean, Wings eats this stuff every single day, so how bad could it be blended together? All right, let's get to it. Cooking time with Biggs number two. Ooh, look at that tasty wings meal. <laughs> wings of Redemption eats these on stream pretty much every day. Oh, yes. That's gonna be good. I actually kind of like these banquet meals. Get all the potatoes in the, uh, yeah, just mix in the dessert in there and everything. Yeah, I can't wait. Awesome. That just fucking slopped. Delicious Wendy's chili. Wings' favorite meal. Oh. The chili alone, the smell is going to make me throw up. You don't like Wendy's chili? It smells awful. It's made from leftover hamburger meat. Top me off with some delicious Pepsi. <sighs> this is like a mixture of warm and cold to the touch. <laughs> That's horrendous. Ready? Yep. Wow, that's, uh, the Pepsi probably wants to fizz up, doesn't it? <sighs> that looks delicious. Awful. Delicious. That looks like a peanut butter shake. That's good. I can't <gasps> wait. The smell. Uh, let's, let's see what the flavor is like. You know what, Biggs? Don't tell me it's good. It's actually kind of good. Don't tell me it's good. It kind of just tastes like chili, because like the the main thing from the banquet meal was pretty much the same meat as the chili that they use. And it's just like a hint of sweet from the Pepsi. It's actually kind of good. Oh my god. Wow, you actually enjoy it. This is actually... You, gotta, you should really try it. It's actually good. I don't want to try that. That should be the so rest of the it. the last bit. Oh. Ah. Okay, that wasn't horrible. Let's uh, let's get me that point. See, oh. you know, we both had a really difficult round three, Biggs. Oh, I think I we had equally so difficult times. I hate you. Look here! Look! Listen! I just got point number three! Oh, oh, we're all tied up again. Now, Biggs, remember, if the game ends with a tie score, we have to do both of the punishments. So you better, you better get real picky about what you choose to do, because I have a feeling I'm not going to quit my next two. <sighs> Depending on what I get, I'm not quitting either. Well, which ones could you land on that you would just not do? Is there anything? Um, I would say the Blazing Challenge or the uh, Wasabi. So at this point, you're just done with spice after yeah. eating the spiciest thing ever Anything made. Anything else? I mean, I guess I have to say pick three blender because I know you know my faults, so... <laughs> well, give it a spin, my friend!
Rough pasta, that's not so bad. It's not bad, I'll take it. Yeah, let's uh, let's get cooking. It's me, a monkey, and welcome to my Italian kitchen. Now here in Italy, our economy is not so good, so we cannot afford a fire or a stove or anything. Boiling water, we do not have. So when we make a delicious pile of pasta, we just pour it in the bowl, pour on the sauce, and you go to town. Mmm, a delicious Italian recipe. A raw pasta just for my friend the Biggs. Mamma mia. Mamma mia, where's the princess? Well, I guess this is easier than anything else. Yeah, I think uh, whole grains will settle your stomach after eating that spicy shit. Oh man, <laughs> oh, it's pasta. It's gonna be as crunchy as the Skittles. Get used to that crunch. I might stop cooking my pasta. Is it good? That's horrendous. It's not bad. Yeah. I have like little blades floating in my mouth. Like cutting you up? Fuck that. Hmm. I'm glad we both got an easy one right in a row. <laughs> yeah. You only have one more to go after this. Mm hmm. It could go really bad. Or really good. Do you chip a tooth yet? No, but it feels like I uh, put like the blades of a blender in my mouth and just kind of <laughs> down to my last noodle, so. Oh boy. Did that, that at least settle your stomach after the chocolate? That, that one broke and literally stabbed right into my tongue. <laughs> ah! What the hell is that? piece of pasta is stuck in my tongue. Ew. Well, disappointingly, nobody has fucked up yet, so give yourself your fourth point. <sighs> what is it with these wheel shows? Nobody ever fails. Is that a, a pasta <laughs> yeah. noodle? Great. We're gonna have to come up with harder shit, because I don't think either of us is gonna lose any points. My, my best bet to win is to land on pick three blender and get the double points now. That's what I'm hoping to land on. Unless you throw up while you're eating the blended stuff, then I win. Wasabi! Oh hey! Boy. Can't be that bad after you ate that chocolate. Oh, well, it's not going to be anywhere near as bad, but it'll be bad. I'm a, I'm a spice lord. Keep in mind, he's the one that said soup spoon. <laughs> All right. Cooking time with Biggs number three. Oh, great. Oh, I have a feeling somebody got wants the, revenge. Got the shiny, uh, whatever you call this spoon. I'm really glad this is off the wheel because that's one of the three things I wouldn't be able to finish. Yeah, I've really fucked myself over landing on this oh, one. Oh, yes. Look at that. I've never had wasabi before. What does it taste like? I guess I'm about to find out. It tastes like fire. Yeah. I mean, I'm okay with spice for the most part. It's, it's bad flavors that make me so sad. So this is how much you're supposed to eat. Okay. That's like a pe
<laughs> yep, he got it. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of round four, still tied up, buddy. This is it. Each of us has one spin left. Still got a lot of shitty things on the wheel that neither one of us want to do. Let's hope and pray that somebody loses so that we can not both get punished. Please, give him a spin, my friend. Oh, this is a shitty day. Come on, give him something spicy. Oh, uh oh, Dominoes. Well, that's gonna take some time, but I guess, uh, I guess yeah. I'm, I gotta go make Bigs a pizza. <sighs> okay. All right. All right, folks. This is my last ditch effort to defeat Bigs, so I need to make it good. He has to eat half of a small pizza that I design. I know that his weakness is spicy food, but I don't know if Dominoes will have anything spicy enough to fuck him over. I just have to try my best. Let's start off with uh, gluten-free crust, why not? Okay, we want hot sauce, jalapeno pepper, and we want, we want double hot sauce, double jalapeno peppers. Banana peppers are kind of spicy, we'll do double those. Anything that is spicy, we need to fuck him. All right, Biggs, time for you to find out what's on your mystery pizza. Wow. So what we've got here is a gluten-free dough, because I know you're gluten-free. And we've got double the jalapenos, double the banana peppers, and double the buffalo sauce that you specifically told me you can't stand. And you've got to eat half of this bad boy. Can I take my hat off? I don't know why you wouldn't be able to take off your hat. Have you recovered from your chocolate yet? No, my, my stomach really hurts. Well, I mean, you said that you didn't want to eat the chocolate to see cats. Maybe this is where you draw the line. Is it worth it to not see cats, Biggs? Gluten-free, huh? Yeah, should be good for you. I hope it's as spicy as can be. I really tried to spice it up for you. <laughs> Shaking already. Getting a little bit spicy. How's the gluten-free crust? Is it good? Maybe we should go gluten-free. The thing is... Is it spicy or what? It's really hot. <laughs> the thing is, I don't have a time limit. We could be here a whole day. I'm gonna throw up. Really? If you throw up before you finish, you lose. Oh no. This is a great commercial for Domino's Pizza. Oh my gosh. Should we have got Pizza Hut instead or what? So I have the opportunity to steal. So if I can eat half the pizza, I don't even have to do the final round. Should I attempt it? I really don't like gluten-free. It's really bad. Fuck this pizza. I'm not eating this shit. I'm gonna spin and press my luck. All right, it's been a horrible day for both of us so far. I think Biggs almost needs to be hospitalized. But here we go, final spin of the wheel. Either I'll win the fifth and final point, or I'll fail and it'll be a tie game. Weeks and weeks of putting this together and getting ready and comes down to it this. It comes down to this. Give me oysters! <laughs> the Blazing Challenge! Hell yeah! Yeah! I gotta wow. eat five wings! I gotta eat five spicy wings! That's way better than eating that fucking pizza! I gotta eat five wings! I'm so mad. Feeling pretty confident? Yeah, I, I've done the Blazing Challenge before, and I'm, I'm actually kind of in the mood for some hot wings, so... Gonna, <laughs> I, was, I was gonna eat those after the show anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered a, a five piece of the Blazing, and they gave me, it looks like, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven piece, so lucky day for me. <laughs> Alright, if I can eat these chicken wings, I win. And Biggs is buying me a large popcorn, large pop. <sighs> 
Is it even hot? Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> I'm trying not to let air into my mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna need to drink that chalky milk. Man, I've been sweating all day today. <laughs> you need, need a good shower before the movie. No shit. Before our date to cats. I'm doing this for you cats. Anything for Blaze. Blaze and challenge for Blaze. Oh, Do you have the sensation of needing to throw up? No. It's just my mouth's an oven, but it can't be as bad as your chocolate. Oh no, it's probably nowhere near as bad. Finally, one of these stupid wheel games has a winner without a stupid tiebreaker. Oh, oh it feels so good. You still have to swallow. Oh, I'm gonna come. Ah! How do you feel? Like a fucking winner! Oh, thank God! Hat hair for the win, folks. I need to shower. I need to. I need to get all dapper and, and fancy. I need to put on a suit and jacket because we're going to cats tonight, motherfuckers! <sighs> Give me my fucking point. There you go. Wheel of cursed meals number one in the books. I finally fucking won something. <clears throat>everybody and welcome back to is it kino your favorite movie review podcast i am monkey jones joined as always by biggs bigsington biggs what did you think of cats <sighs> well it, it, it's really hard to say this but it's not as bad as i thought it was Whoa! going to be it wasn't as bad as i thought it was going to be like honestly i was sitting there watching it and like there were some really rough parts to get through, but it was because that's of more two of a, characters. That's more of a dog pun. Rough? It, you should have said some parts were a bit of a catastrophe. No. I'll say this. I genuinely enjoyed the film more than the new Star Wars movie. And I'm, I'm not being superfluous. I'm not making a joke here. Star Wars gave me a headache and made me kind of upset watching it. Cats was a wonder and joy to behold. And several times, maybe a hundred times, I would just look over at Biggs and say, You seeing this shit, dude? You seeing this shit? <laughs> As a film, Cats was better than Star Wars. As a musical film, I thought it was better than La La Land. La, I seen that. La La Land, the music sucks. At least Cats has... Some some real uh, one hit wonders so in there. Both movies you've compared it to, I have not seen. I have not seen the new uh, Star Wars yet. But so. you did spend about forty bucks to uh, see cats and get me snacks that you did not get to enjoy. Yeah, yeah. I reached over to get some popcorn. And he slapped my hand. I, I was like a cat. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. He's like my popcorn. <laughs> get your own. So, which of the cats was your favorite cat? Uh oh. What was his name? Mistopheles? Mr. The Magical Mr. Mistopheles. You like yeah. that guy? Yeah, he was he was pretty cool. I like Idris Elba as the villainous McCavity the Mystery Cat, who has magical powers and makes all the fat cats disappear. <laughs> all, the, the two characters you were talking about that suck are the two overweight, annoying cats played by... Fuck James Corden and uh, Rebel Wilson. Rebel Wilson. Oh and man, they were awful. It was so hard to watch the scenes with them in it. There was multiple times, like as soon as Rebel Wilson came on screen, I looked at him and was like, "Can we leave right now?" It was like 10, 20 minutes in. But thankfully, McCavity, the mystery cat, comes to save the day and literally removes them from the movie. Yeah, it was, <laughs> he just poops them away. It was fantastic. After that, it was it was fine. Okay, so we have favorite cats. What was your favorite song from the film? Well, um, I would have to say the magical Mr. Mistopheles song was probably my favorite. Okay, we gotta hear you sing it. <laughs> I don't well, think so. Well, there's never, ever a cat so clever as magical Mr. Mistopheles. <laughs> yep. That's a real banger right yeah, there. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good song. What about you? Ah, uh, memory all oh, alone no. in the m really. I, how is that the song? It's like the the breakout hit of the musical. 
Uh, I thought it was pretty weak compared to Magical Mr. Mistopheles. Yeah, no joke. And even like the Jellicle Cats are the Jellicle... That song was, uh, I mean, it's it's half catchy, but I don't understand I mean, any of the words. A good portion of the songs, I think, weren't bad. That's why I say, as a musical, I like it better than Les Mis. I like it better than <laughs> La La Land. Because none of those songs stick out in my head. I'm going to have cat fever in my brain <laughs> for the rest of the year. Biggs, are you glad that you spent your Saturday night instead of fucking bitches at the club like you usually do? Instead, you went on a date with me to see cats. Yeah, I'm pretty glad. Was it a perfect night? Yeah, it was a meowster piece of a film. The magical <laughs> Mr. Mustafelis. Fuck this video. It's a good song. This, this, it's a good song. Fuck the wheel. Yeah. Yeah, we're actually just going to throw it away. We're not doing a second one. We really should. <laughs> yeah. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to the first ever Wheel of Cursed Meals. And be sure to let me know down in the comments if you want to see another one and what you would like to see on the wheel. Please keep it realistic. I don't know if I can go out and buy bull testicles, but maybe I can. I don't know. You can also send anything you want us to eat to my P.O. box, which is down in the description. If you want to see more fun shenanigans between Biggs and I, we have a Let's Play channel called The Monkey and Big Show. There is also a link to that down in the description. And finally, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. You guys are the real MVP. And check out my Patreon if you want to fund future video projects like this. I'll see you next time.